Hey everybody, so it has been seven days since I put the seeds in the soil and I wanted to show you a quick update because I'm going to stay on top of this. So hold me accountable. So here we are. We have all the brassicas now have popped up. Brussels, broccoli, cauliflower, white cabbage, red cabbage, the purple kohlrabi. Uh, they have all popped up. And just today, I see a couple random cucumber sprouts. So that's all I've got so far, but so far, so good. And if you can hear the girls in the background, they're doing just fine. They sleep under the heater at night. They are in darkness and they're doing just great. They eat all day, they're healthy, they're all moving around, so everybody's doing good. So, I came outside to give the girls some snacky, snacky, scratchy. You don't get out of my way so I can put it on the ground, so half the time I end up dumping it all over their backs. Oh, <laughs> like that. Ay, 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 you girls. So the ground is starting to thaw, all this hay is starting to come up. There's a good six, seven inch layer of leaf mulch underneath it. So that'll compost down. All of this hay will compost down over the summer. So that it, it's kind of the best of both worlds. Whoa, be nice. Because this will be great compost. And if anything grows out of this hay, which it never does, these girls are on top of it and they eat it before it can ever do anything. But it's been uh, a little chilly the past couple days. We get one warm day and then we are frigid again. But I also wanted to show you, we kind of mapped out the uh, other outdoor run. Uh, one of my husband's friends has a, a skid steer with a post hole digger thingy on it. So he's going to come over and drill some holes for us. So we mapped everything out and we got the house here. Ha 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 ha. Which drives him crazy because it's on a hill and it's crooked. But guess what? I don't really care. So I wanted it this direction because we have, I ordered a, a light sensor open and close uh, chicken door, automatic chicken door. I bought the omelet chicken door so I can set a timer for the regular one, but this one we're not going to be using year round. So I'm not really super worried about that. I just need it to open and close for the period of time that I have the house out here. So like I had said before, I am not leaving this house out over the winter. It's not sufficient enough for the winter time here where I live. Okay? Just prefacing that. So. We're gonna kinda retrofit this so the door is on here. I'll take this little door off. But I wanted it to face the east because I wanted it to be able to open as early as possible. I have found with some of those doors, they don't quite open as early as you want them to or they don't close as early as you want. You know, they kinda, eh. So anyways, it'll be fine for what we need it for. What? I shoot your pretty girl. Are you talking to me? Are you chunky monkey? Are you a chunky monkey? Yes, you're pretty girl. Yeah, okay. You gotta get your two cents in too. Anyways, also I can see this door from my back window. You can see there's my house. Here's our family room and I can stand here and I can see everything from it. So I wanted to be able to see this door, if it was open or closed, if anybody was coming in, out, coming out, blah, 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 blah. I know my husband doesn't like the fact that it's crooked. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be fine. <laughs> I have a flatter spot, but the chicken coop and everything obscures it and I can't see it. And I don't know, what if the door doesn't open? I can't, I don't necessarily come out here every single morning before I leave for work. I rely on the door to open. You know, when I see chickens pop out, then I know they're out here. And we're gonna put a double gate. Oh, everything's blowing away. 
We're gonna put a double gate. Let's see where I am here. So it'll be a double swinging gate. So that way we can drag that monstrosity of a house out <laughs> when we don't need it. And we can bring it back when we do. Plus it'll be helpful that um, the leaf mulcher thingy that my husband tows behind the, the lawnmower it chips it up extra fine that's why i can use all this as a uh, leaf like it turns into compost quicker the leaf mulch because it's chipped down into smaller pieces and that way if we have this double oops i didn't shut the i didn't shut the door uh we can open both of the doors he can actually back it in because it's like four and a half feet wide so We'll just make it a double door. He can back in. I can make my life so much easier and dump the leaves down. Oh, that sounds bright. But... So it can all go wherever here. And they can use it year round. It's, we're doubling the space. So I'm really excited. <clears throat> Super excited. Uh, another fact. Oh. Guess what else? I'm gonna walk this way because we need to walk for a minute. <clears throat> we got a call the other day saying that our bees will be here in about a week. So I don't, I'm not sure why we can't pick them up that day. Probably a bit sorting, whatever. <clears throat> so the following week when I'm on vacation, we get to go pick up our bees. So, oh, the wind is still really, really cold. But our apiary area has got a little, still got a little snow on it. Oh, look, my husband, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Story time. The other day, um, my husband wanted to drive his truck around the back and push the snow down so he could go to the back corner of our property. Guess how well that worked out for him? Because <laughs> he got stuck in the snow. I don't know, it took him like an hour to get out. Okay, wind is coming from the west. Ugh. So, now I'm standing in my apiary. I got, I got a week and a half to figure this out. I mean, it's, it's I don't know, 4.30 right about now. I wanna lay this out just right. So we're gonna be by all of the apple trees and we have to face them the correct direction, but it's going to be super cool. So this will be our apiary area. So I have an apple tree there, an apple tree there, an apple tree here. This is a crab apple, and these are two cedars. Uh, some of these bushes start really coming in with the lilacs. Everything's pretty... Uh, Oh my gosh, it's no fun walking through the snow anymore. Uh, everything goes on a cycle with the stuff that was planted before I came here. So, oh well. The bees will come. I will feed the bees because there's nothing here for them to eat. But they're coming. Ooh, if the wind would stop, the sun feels really good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go in and get warm. Hmm? So here we are at day nine. And you can see... My onions are starting to come up. Uh, that one here. I got some coming up here. It has been um, a little unseasonably chilly around here. So we're just waiting for everything to pop up. All my cold weather crops have popped up. Even my little, huh, oopsie. I guess I dropped an extra seed, but that's okay. I'll take an extra plant. Some of the cucumbers are coming up. And again, this is day nine. But it has been a little chilly. It hasn't really gone below 60 degrees out here. Yeah, so everything's coming along really well. Uh, the girls are quite rambunctious this morning. Ah, hi, babies. It's like, hi, wakey, wakey, and some wakey. Everybody's doing good out here. See if I can get in and show you the all the girls. Girls. Oh. 
Hi, babies. Hi, Blue. Mm -hmm. Hi, sweetie. Say hi. That's my olive agar. <laughs> oh, baby. Whoa, whoa. You're so funny. Are you curious? You're curious too. <laughs> You're so funny. And the leghorns are in the back that are scared to death. Leghorns are flighty anyways, so I just try to let them be. <gasps> Hello. All right. <laughs> So we're gonna get the new fence up soon and I'm really excited. I can't wait. Get things rolling. It's supposed to be a rainy day today, but we'll take it as it comes. Uh, so I just wanna say from my group to yours, thank you for growing with me so I can grow with you.